Uh, moving on, let's talk about something that concerns all of us, rent. Now, if you live in some major Nigerian cities, you'll agree that paying rent annually can be daunting. But what if you are to pay monthly? Well, the Minister of Works and Housing, Baba Tunde Fashola, and Governor of Lagos State, Baba Jide Sonwolu, both think this is the way to go. Now, will your landlord agree with them? If not, why? Uh, just an address she from your today has been finding out. It's a thought that gets her overwhelmed each time. She says she would rather wish it away, but it's part of her reality at least for the moment. The food buy every day, say no be say I have plenty customer. I just manage. I know I have enough money to pay as rent. Blessing's story resonates with what the average Nigerian goes through, particularly in major cities like Lagos, Abuja, and Port Harcourt. The current state of the economy doesn't help matters, and shelter, one of the basic human needs, takes a large chunk of her earnings. Most property owners in Lagos, for instance, demand a yearly rent in advance from all tenants and additional one-off payments for agency commission, legal, and caution fees from new tenants. Low- and middle-income earners struggle to meet up with these obligations, and many are forced to settle for affordable but discomforting accommodation. Our rent is very high in Lagos, and uh, basically, I think it's because of uh, the state of the economy. Some tenants want more flexible payment options that speak to their reality, a conversation that has started in some quarters. If they can help us talk to the landlords to be collecting the house rent quarterly, it will be more convenient for us. If the landlord can turn to it, many people are willing to go by it. The Lagos state government is munching the idea of introducing monthly rent but it only controls a very low fraction of residential and commercial property in the state. Tolani Ojuri is a property manager and investor who says, in a country where rents are generally not regulated, monthly rent sounds unrealistic. Number one, the financial system does not support it. We don't have a proper credit system to support it. On the government side, we don't have a database to support it. If I have a tenant, and I'm trying to look up a tenant. I don't have, the government doesn't have a robust database to support um, that kind of um, background checks that has to be done. The government didn't build my house for me, so they cannot dictate how or when I collect my rent. Adeniyi Adeyemi is the spokesperson of the estate, rent and commission agents in Lagos. He says the conversation is beyond the agency fee paid by tenants. It is about government putting the right things in place before setting out these. In most Western countries, monthly rent is what obtains, having lots of modalities, including security deposit, which sort of ensures the property owner against default by the tenant. So, if monthly rent is to be introduced in a state like Lagos, Nigeria, how does the government intend to make it work? People are apprehensive because landlords are thinking, we, we've worked for this. This is our pension. This is what we live on. This is what we will live on. How do we stop tenants from defaulting on the monthly payments? But um, we're looking at those issues. We're looking at um, angles where they have not looked at and uh, we, we will perfect that and we will let them know. But I can tell you for sure it is a win-win situation for both the tenants and both the landlords and also the agents and brokers who think that um, this might be taking them out of business. Already, a few real estate companies have begun monthly rental options using technology to provide services to their clients. But how can this be replicated on a larger scale? We are able to know that, okay, this is the income level of this particular tenant, and hence this tenant should not be in an, should not be renting an apartment of this value. When the tenant is moving into the property, we collect the first month rent and one month security deposit. So what that does is that 
when the tenant defaults after the you know a, a period of time, let's say uh, five months into the rent, and the tenant defaults on the sixth month, the security deposit goes to the landlord, and within that um, one month of default, we also get the tenant out of the property. It is an ongoing conversation, but Blessing and others like her hope monthly rents will see the light of day in many Nigerian cities. How soon this happens lies in the hands of stakeholders in the housing sector, especially those saddled with formulating and enforcing regulatory laws. Sheyifomi Olatide, GIST Nigeria. Oh, well, cost of living in cities, let's see how this goes. Still